Hi everyone, it's Crafty Hippie. Today I'm going to be showing you the shaving foam technique. I've got some cards here to show you. Basically this is the sort of um, look effect that you can create using the shaving foam technique. So I've got a few cards that I made recently and this one that I put up on my blog only a day or two ago. This one will be going up soon. And there's just another one there. So this is really easy and lots and lots of fun. And everybody does this a little bit differently. I'm gonna show you my way of doing the shaving foam technique. So we've got some everyday shaving foam. I like to find ones that are cruelty free, that don't have testing on animals. So as I'm in the UK, I go to Superdrug and I use their basic men's shaving foam. So um, as I mentioned uh, in a blog post uh, in the week, or coming up, I can't remember, um, that you're looking for the leaping bunny um, but just check the packaging. But yeah, I always like to make sure that no bunnies are harmed. So that's my shaving foam. I normally have a empty takeaway box on hand because I put all my spoons and my blocks that are dirty. It just gives me somewhere to throw them quickly and then I can take them over to the sink and wash them up. So um, you'll need your ink refill bottles for this. So I've chosen uh, Tentin Turquoise, Old Olive and Pumpkin Pie because they're three really nice colours that just sort of, you know, complement um, each other. Or, we're well, not so much complement, but you know, they're bright colours and they're very different. Um, I've also got some subtle colours. I thought I'd give it a go with subtles this afternoon. So we've got Wisteria Wonder, Pool Party and So Saffron and we'll see how we, we get on with those. So I'm going to use the bright colours first. So, oops, um, I'm using block D for this first card. So I'm just going to show you the technique. I'm not going to make a full card because we don't have time for that. Um, but this is basically how I created the background for this card here but using different colours. So let's give it a go. So, you take your block, make sure it's sort of clean, and I just put some tiny blobs of ink. Obviously, you'd, you know, you wanna use some, but you don't wanna watch use too much so that, you know, you make a complete mess and it, it, you lose the look of your card. I'm rambling a bit today, I can't find my words. So you'll have to bear with me on that one. And some blue Tempting Turquoise. I love Tempting Turquoise. I use it a lot. Okay, let's move those spoons out of the way. So this is how I do the shaving foam technique. So what you want to do is get some shaving foam and just lightly mix it up like that then you get your piece of cardstock which I've already left a fingerprint on let's turn that over oh it's fingerprints everywhere let's turn that around and basically you just print onto your cardstock and then I use a spare piece of card but you could use a credit card or a piece of plastic and you just scrape that off now, you could go over the top of that again, if you like. I haven't got that much of a square like I had in this one. This one I managed to do a bit more neatly, and as you can see, I've used more ink. This one, I don't know if we can see that. There's a bit of a 70s feel going on with those colours. Not sure I like that too much, but anyway, I can, I can make something out of that. So, let's have a go with the lighter more subtle colours and this time I think I'm going to add a bit more ink so you could do stripes I think we're going to give stripes a go now I'm doing this on screen so obviously this could work out all manner of ways but you, what you really need to do is have a go at this yourselves and have a bit of a play with it and see what you come up with. Ooh. 
Oh, I just dripped that everywhere. Let's turn that over. In fact, let's get rid of that completely. Did put a little bit too much on there, didn't I? This is all the fun of recording. Pull that off there. Yeah. Too much saffron ink. There we go. Again, a bit 70s. Um, I've obviously created some lovely bright ones that I've shown you first off. Um, I've still got some shaving foam there that needs to be scraped off. It's fine because you could even just cut that out and then use that as an, as a, an element on your card. So let's have a go at the final one. And let's do three different separate ones. What am I missing? Oh yeah, that bright yellow. So saffron, which looks really orange and brown here. Maybe I should try the Daffodil Delight. Oops. So you can just smoosh it on like that. I'm gonna flick some of that off because I think it's gonna be too much purple on that one. Obviously, I need to experiment a bit more with these. I only used bright colours so far and regals. Give that smoosh like that. Could probably do with an extra spoon. I've got some tissue. I can actually just clean one of my spoons. There we go. It's all very ad hoc. Very much like Blue Peter. A bit more on there. Oops, it's all going wrong. And then scrape that off. As you can see, this makes a complete mess, but that's the fun of it. And then you could repeat that with some pink, perhaps, or some more purple, some more yellow, maybe some blue. Um, there you have it. I'm going to actually put a little bit. No, I think I'm going to leave that. Anyway, as you can see, when you scrape off the shaving foam, you get this lovely, lovely effect. Um, and you can make all sorts of beautiful cards. And backgrounds you just need to have a little go at it first and um, you can find all the details on my blog go over to craftyhippie.co.uk and you'll be able to find a link to buy all the supplies um, and yeah have fun making a mess <laughs>